Hello everyone and this is the winning window episode number 3 week 50 yeah it's 50 uh, countdown to 2020 and i am live on facebook that i have committed to this wednesday 1:30 pm live and uh, today uh, thankfully i am live also on instagram thanks to my business partner nayan agarwal she's holding it for me and i'm going to majorly look into facebook and talk about it so guys those who you are also on facebook if you can come on facebook uh, on my page dr meghna dikshit uh, it would be awesome or else you can have my side view and as in when i can talk to you i will talk to you thank you so much keep uh, keep sending your live comments uh, on instagram as well and also on uh, facebook so keep sending your comments so that i can uh, answer them i can i can uh, answer your questions if there is anything uh, i already have received a lot of questions and a lot of uh, comments on my personal window and my my email email address that i had shared with you about the last two weeks that you have been on this goal so uh, yeah it's been phenomenal for me at least this year and for my company the mantra uh, uh i don't know how many of you have seen the posts on my facebook and instagram and other social media but i'm so so delighted and elated to share this that you know uh, the the year started with so much of uh, happiness and such uh, great achievements and great big dreams coming through so <clears throat> recently at the 11th of jan at national achievers congress um i spoke uh, uh from the stage uh, like uh, jack canfield and other great speakers those who were there on that stage and there were 1100 people attending that conference it was amazing experience for me because i remember that 2016 i was sitting in the audience uh with uh, my business partner my husband and my son and i remember say, saying this at that point of time to them that uh by 2019 i want to be on that stage now you may think that you know why 2019 why i did not say 2017 or why i did not say 2018 now to be very honest i felt that at that stage there are world class speakers there were only world class speakers i may be great at my skill but at that point of time i felt that i may not be as uh, good or as uh amazing as a speaker that that can add value to that huge audience so it took me a little while to educate myself in developing my personality overall as a speaker and that's how my journey was like and i this is an opportunity that i got and i just grabbed it because i realized that i'm ready now and i'm ready to take the bigger stages and bigger audiences um so how about you how is your um this year going on you know we are already two weeks down we are already on the third week now of this january and last few years uh, have been observing that the time passes very soon like you know it just you you never know because you'll continue being in this year you will continue doing what you're doing and here bam like in few months you will be at the end of the year and uh, and then uh, most of us feel that you know we are not able to uh, achieve or we could not achieve what we wanted to achieve because the time is just going on so let's not do that this year and let's let's really really be at it and i'm talking to you also instagramers because uh, it's very critical for you to take that actions right now because if you do not take the actions at this moment um, you're just going to repent at the end of this year because you it's it's going to be the same year that you've lived for all these years so let's make a let's make a difference and let's do something different this year so uh so last two weeks that we have figured out the the first week was about goal setting resolutions that what was your big goal that you have been putting it on the back burner and this time you decided to have it the last week the second week those of you who have not watched it before please go on my facebook page and you will be able to see the other two videos as well but the last week's video was about taking those first few steps 
to become that great you like as i said that 2016 to 2019 was my journey to become what i wanted to become to be and to have what i want and that's how i am saying here that what is it that you want to be by 2020 and what is it that 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 big goal that you want to achieve so what are your first few steps i hope you all have written it down so week 3 and today's topic is about partnerships finding the partners for you to support you on your goal yes so uh, those of you uh, some of you have mentioned this to me uh, in my uh, uh, on the email that you know uh, week look uh, the, the whole year looks really really long so can we have something uh, quick like can we do something really quickly to set ourselves uh, for success so for those of you who would want to do it faster i would urge you to go on my youtube channel and uh, the success dna unleashed it's a 30 days series uh, which you can go through every single day these are 5 minutes videos not much and every every day you have to do something which is mentioned in that video and if you keep doing that you will see that you are setting up new habits you are setting up new charts new new course of action that you are looking at you will be able to take take control of your life in 30 days if you do it every single day however see i personally and firmly believe that your persistence will give you what you want but if you are consistent you will be able to keep what you have got so yes those of you want quick results go on that 30 day series in fact all of you can go and do that it's not a big deal it's just a 5 minutes walk there's an there's an assessment which you can download from my website go through that assessment before uh, starting the series and then from that then on you can continue to go on that videos one day uh, one one video a day day one day two times and you can go on till 30 days and accomplish what you want to accomplish but consistency is very very important and that's why we are doing this 52 weeks because what after 30 days like i don't want you to come back to me and tell me that you know i fought, i i fell back in my old comfort zone or i i achieved but i'm i could not continue to achieve what i wanted to achieve so so just just be at it just be here in this space it's going to be amazing i i promise you that this this space is going to be amazing because those of you who are joining on this space or sending me personal emails and uh, messages uh, you know for you let me tell you that whoever is in this space is like minded for all you know this is your support system this is there could be a partner for you on this journey here itself so life is a team sport you know they say that there is an african proverb where they say that if you want to run faster then run alone but if you want to run longer then go together so life is not a sprint life is not a 100 meters race life is marathon and you want people to be with you those who can support you on this journey right because in, in when you run marathon what happens is there will be a time when that wall the wall will come in front of you those of you run marathon you will know that there's a, this wall which comes in front of you at some point and breaking that going through that it's a mental perception that you go into going and breaking through that you need that kind of a mindset that kind of support that kind of a energy that kind of a you know somebody with you at that point of time so you know for 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 life it is very important that you have partnerships you have collaborations and you create those win win situations everybody in that partnership should win and that's how you go longer that's how you build bigger assets for yourself <clears throat> taking care of other person's needs being compassionate being empathetic for others those who are involved in your life it's it's so much more important you know and just asking people you know ki how are they or do they need any help or support from you is there anything that you can do for them that can better their life people will definitely take you seriously and feel that oh wow this person is really committed and this person is dedicated this person wants to be on my side think about this like when you are on that journey and been when you are tired or when you are struggling and someone comes to you and says that you know how are you do you need anything do can i help you to do something how do you feel 
at least i feel great there i have been times in my life where i have been down and dumps and people have been supporting me and they came and they spoke to me and they actually said you know that do you need anything and those are the people i have always have always remained in my space you know so so who are these people that you want to support who are these people that you want to be compassionate with whether you are an employee or whether you are an employer being an employee maybe you can talk to your boss if you feel sometimes and ask that person that if, is there anything else that you can do for that person or being an employee you can ask the similar thing that you know or employer i mean if you're a boss go and ask your people your team members they will feel amazing you know being a boss you have a great team and uh, to keep up that team you need to be taking care of their uh, needs so if you do that it will be really really amazing for you you know these small gestures like you know going how how many times do you go do vegetable shopping or maybe you go uh, i typically do this let me tell you about myself i typically do this that uh, every time i go to the mall or to a hotel where there is a security person and the security person keeps checking you know uh, you and uh, i definitely definitely ask that person once that uh, have you because they're standing all day right sometimes they have 12 hour shift and if you just smile at them and then ask them that you know okay how are you doing today it it is just that they feel that somebody is concerned about them somebody is asking them how are you it's amazing and you know, it's a small joy that they get and you get because they smile at you this is a gesture that you probably can uh, probably can part for your partners or whoever you are collaborating with so you know you you need in the game of life you need people on your side and as many people to support you the best right the best because at the end the life is all about or your business or your your career what you're doing or anything that you're doing is about people and relationships so when you have these things with you it's it's mandatory that these people are by your side now when i say that these people should be by your side and give them good gestures give them more energy give them give them something that something that that uplifts them or makes them feel good i don't really mean that you fake it i would urge that you be genuine about it because you know the energy is transferable you can easily make out that if i'm faking it then person will get it that you don't really mean it and if you really genuinely are telling them that you really care for them or you feel about it you will see that difference in that person's energy you will see that the person is really lifted up and you will see that they will come back to you and contribute a little more in your life whenever there is a need because these are the people they will remember you they will take care of you because you have taken care of them when when they were they, it was unexpected from you so doing those things really really matter so today what i'm going to talk, tell you about is I want you to be really, really responsible for your part in the partnerships or collaborations that you're looking at. Responsible for your part that you are sharing, going to share in that relationship to reach your higher goal. You have to be really, really responsible in two ways. The most important one is that you, you know, the week two we discussed about your skills and capabilities that, and to become that person that you are. Who's going to make that big shift? Okay, who's going to make that really big shift to to become who you want to become? So once you, so you have to make make an effort to become better and best at every given moment to be that excellent person, whom those other people, those who are at that vibration, look for and think, oh wow, I would really really like to work with this person, because not for anything, because this person is amazing at what he does or she does. so first is that part the second part the second part so so uh, she was telling me to put my hand down because the instagramers can't see me uh, well so the second part of your most important thing is adding value okay adding value to the other person the first is of course you need to be the best one in your field or what you do the second part is you have to understand that how can you add value to your partner the only time people come to you and be with you is when you are going to add value to them if you don't add value to their life they will not want to be with you 
think about yourself like would you be partnering with someone that if that person does not add value to you no so these two things are very very important a be the person that you you really aspire that you're to fulfill the goal so become that person work on yourself your skills your abilities your personality whatever that may take craft your skill all of that your passion your dedication all of that will people will see whether this person is really committed really means what that person says or does and the second thing is how can you add value to the other person's life okay so by just by associating with someone is not going to be enough it cannot continue for very long if you do not add value to that person how can you go out of the way or give that extra thing for that person so that person feels that oh, wow i would like to be with this person or this brand or this company because this person is going out of the way to help me or to do something for myself and while doing all of this okay while doing while crafting your skill while your passion everything that you're putting in and partnering with people you also need to stay focused so stay focused there will be distractions there will be challenges nobody says that there won't be challenges because challenges is a part of your growth if you read my post i just mentioned that the week 1 see i was really really to be very honest let me be okay let me be very honest with you now here the last whole year my team has been telling me to do facebook live and i was resistant i was not ready right so what was there there was a the resistance what happened when i committed for this this year now the testing is happening do i am i really committed and how i got it the first week itself dental surgery swollen cheeks and in that in that swollen cheeks i did the live the ne- the, the moment i finished my live the whole of the evening it was so bad the teeth uh, the dark gums were paining really badly the next week the next challenge came i was traveling i thought there would be enough network but bah, like there was no network and i really really struggled i literally went out of the conference and i sat in the sun it was really i was so sweaty and I, it was too bad the network was people were trying to connect with me talk to me and i was really not able to communicate with them because the network was dropping on and off and today is the third day third week right thankfully nothing has happened and today if you see my energy is lifted i'm feeling really up to it i'm feeling so good about it and i also thought of instagram okay let me add instagram to my life because uh, and there are people on instagram they are messaging me on instagram and i can't be live on two places at a time <coughs> so i thought okay fine i let me put instagram as well if there's an opportunity and if people can see me so staying focused the test will happen believe me people the test will happen people you will have am- a- a- amazing test coming on your way but you have to you have to really be at it and say no matter what no matter what i am going to do it and i'm telling you whatever your problems that you've been sharing with me i have been through almost all of them almost all of them and i still tell you that the more i want to grow higher the bigger the responsibility the bigger the game the power and the bigger the power the bigger the responsibility so it works both ways with great power comes great responsibility i love this dialogue from spider man i i really love it and i i have it written on my vision board that you know the great greater you know you you have great power great responsibility and great responsibility great power this is this is together so you need to understand that that you have to yield great power and great responsibility with it now that i have been on that national achievers conference stage i feel even more responsible to contribute and to be there with you all to support and give as much as i can so be focused um distraction and challenges are going to be the part of your life you have to conquer them go ahead turn your obstacles into opportunities the moment you start doing that and the moment the action portion increases in your life guys i'm telling you this with experience the moment the action portion increases in your life you are going to see the two things will come up one is anxiety that will come up that you are you are on the you are on the new path you don't know what's ahead and the human beings always have the fear of unknown 
so that anxiety will come you will feel maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm not doing right something is not happening this is not happening that is not happening and if you conquer that the next thing will unfold for you and the next thing will unfold is a greater power to you your actions believe me people will come back to you in your life from from whatever you felt that earlier you did not get those opportunities those opportunities will knock on your door once again i am seeing it for years now with my clients and with myself the moment you elevate your vibrations and you get do better take take actions massive actions you will see that you will have more opportunities coming to you so anxiety guys will come and the next is if you conquer that anxiety you will get the opportunities believe me you will get the opportunities so stay focused be at it and the next step that i want to do for this next week is i want you to take some action towards fulfilling your goals some action that is going to take you to meet those partners those collaborations those associations be it searching for them or be it actually connecting with them now when i say connecting i really mean connecting i don't mean communicating there's a huge difference between connection and communication if you connect you will build trust and build relationships and business or work will come automatically but if you communicate there are chances that you may not really get what you want so ask yourself are you connecting or communicating that's the first question for you in this week and the second is what is that action that you're going to take that next week you're going to come back to me and tell me that yes i have taken this action and this is the magic that i created in this one week yeah and i'm going to see you next week once again on wednesday at 1:30 pm and by the time keep responding keep sending your messages keep sending your emails i will respond to each and every email here or message here and we will keep in touch for the rest of the week and see you on wednesday 1:30 pm the winning window next year and for you too if it's a possibility i will come on instagram once again next week on wednesday if doesn't happen do come back on the facebook live my page and we will go into the week 4 of the winning window countdown to 2020 see you guys thank you for being here it was amazing to be with you guys and see you soon bye bye